Hey, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're going to talk about a very important subject to me, as it should be for you as well, and that is the importance of stretching, okay? And stretching before a workout, stretching before practicing golf, or playing around a round of golf. You should do the same warm-up ideas each and every time. I've incorporated into my routine over the last eight or nine years when I started really working out and playing a lot of golf and uh, I have not had any injuries, nothing more than just a little soreness and I attribute that to stretching properly. Um, so you know where I'm coming from, I have eight different fitness certifications, I'm a CrossFit level two certified trainer, I have a CrossFit mobility certification a CrossFit kettlebell certification, two USA weightlifting certifications, uh, CrossFit kids certification. So I'm not coming at you randomly here. I do have some areas of expert, expertise and I've taken the time to learn this stuff and I've gotten gathered some of these stretching ideas and warm-up ideas from a lot of gyms across the southeast, some of the top gyms and they incorporate it not only working out but with golf. So let's start, uh, I like to start out simple. The idea is to do a five to 10 minute warm up. It's not a workout, it's just, the idea is to get what it says, which is warm up and have maybe a little slight sweat and then you go to your activity. I like to start out with the little arm circles to work out, get my shoulders nice and loose for the day. Small circles this way, then I'll reverse it. And then I'll do bigger circles. And I'll reverse it. And then I really love to do this. I got a PVC pipe here. You want to get your hands really wide, as wide as you can, and then do pass through without your arms bending and go to your backside like this. Real slow, nothing fast. And as you get better with it, if you want to move it in a little bit, see if you can do it. And you just keep moving it in until you can't do it. So I'll move in closer. Oh, I can't quite do it. So I've reached my limit there. I'll do five to ten of those. It's a great stretch for getting the shoulders going. Uh, then I like to do something where I just stretch out my hamstrings a little bit here. Uh, just something where I get my feet wide. And then I take my right hand and go to the left toe. And what I'm doing is more of a dynamic warm-up, which means we want to only hang out in these positions maybe no longer than five seconds. At the end of a warm-up, or after playing a round of golf, I'll go through that in a little bit, how to do a static um, stretching regimen, okay? But right now, we're going to do this. After doing that, I like to also stretch out the hamstrings with these pass-throughs, wide stance, take my arms up, open up my hips, and then I just go all the way back. You can really feel it in your hamstrings also. Works on opening up your hip flexors, your hip adductors, which is good for everything that we do. Next, I like to do a few lunges. Lunges, you want to keep the front knee in line with the ankle like this. We don't want to go forward with the knee. That can hurt your knee, that's very important. You don't want to go too wide. Back knee touches the ground. Maintaining your core, keeping your core nice and tight. Let's do five to 10, nothing crazy. Just warming up again, not working out. Then I like to uh, do the world's greatest stretch. Okay, I'm gonna take my time with this one. It's a great stretch, very tough. As you get better with it, you will be able to get deeper into the position, and I'll explain that here in a second. You want to get in that lunge position there, and you're gonna take your left knees out in front, you're gonna take your left elbow, and you're gonna keep this in line with the ankle, and try to go down as far as you can. And then you're gonna take your hand and go up. And I'll do two to three of those, not hanging out too long. Great, 
great stretching exercise. You understand why it's the world's greatest stretch when you do it. Um, as you get more flexible, you'll be able to get that elbow all the way down to the ground. Great, great stretch. Uh, next one, I like to do a little bit of yoga. Uh, not too much, again, just stretching out. I like to do a downward dog, opens up our lower back, helps our back get nice and loose before we swing a golf club or work out. We can walk back. Great stretch. Um, definitely will stretch out your upper back, your torso. Also, you hit your hamstrings on that wall back. I try to keep my legs straight on the way back on that. All right, so it looks like we're ready to maybe begin to work out. I definitely feel stretched out. If you're still feeling a little tight, you could do you know, five to 10 jumping jacks, or sometimes I like to do this, like five just to get warmed up, or I'll do jumps. I'll get in a push-up position. Just loosens up everything downstairs as far as your legs, your hamstrings. And now I've got a light sweat going, just like I told you. And I am ready to go. Okay, so when I go do a workout, or if I'm playing golf, I will start the workout with just light weight or the bar and just go through the motions that I'm gonna do in my workout. Golf swing, I will work maybe on some pitching. I'll start out with my sand wedge, my gap wedge, and hit some smaller shots. Then proceed to hitting. Afterwards, as I was telling you, you can do more of a, of a static type regimen or stretching, which means you're gonna hold these positions for 25 seconds to 30 seconds. In the warm up beforehand, we were only doing it, holding it a few seconds, okay? So now we really, these muscles have been engaged for the round of golf we're working. We need to do one great thing that a lot of gyms do, which you see behind me here, we got a foam roller. I could have done this in the warm up too, but I wanted to go through those ideas. Uh, but this is great to start out after you've worked out or after you've played. I'll just roll back and forth. And you'll feel your back pop. One you want to do two, which is hit your IT band. You start up here at the top and work your way down the leg here to the knee. Land on the side, and you will know when you find that golf ball tight knot in your leg. And when you do, hang out there. Hang out there until it, it stops hurting. But when you find it and it grabs your breath, and then you're like, oh, I feel that. Hold it, take a deep breath. Release it, and it should start going away. We want to work out all the lactic acid that is built up in our bodies. This happens through being active. That's why we have to do this stretching beforehand and stretching after, afterwards. Okay, so I did a nice stretch there. I'll do the other side, but that's something I'll do. Now, this is really important for all us athletes, golfers. We want to make sure we, this is a great stretch here. You can lay on the ground. If you got a partner to help you stretch the leg across, go ahead. My arms out, I can feel both shoulders, blades on the ground. And I'm gonna take my right leg here first, and we'll swing it across and up. 
keeping my shoulder blades on the ground. If you have a partner, he can take the foot and push it more this way and keep your legs straight at the same time, same time, doing it very slowly when he does that. You can also do this. This is great. You can see it in the NBA a lot, stretching out the hamstrings, and NFL, and baseball, and golf. Get the legs straight, have your partner push your leg while this one stays on the ground, push it back with your shoulder staying on the ground, and that's going to stretch out your hamstrings. Stretching out the hamstrings are important, because if you got tight hamstrings, you're going to have lower back issues. Lower back issues, it's not a good thing. That's not going to help with your turning and your flexibility. So, you can do a lot of workouts where you do weights. It doesn't have to be heavy. It depends on what you're working on. But as long as you're stretching before and after, you should be able to keep these muscle groups flexible, and that's the key. So if we can have strength with flexibility, that's a great combination. And also prevent injury. I didn't realize how many people have so many injuries. When I owned a couple of gyms, it seemed like almost every person that was coming through the door had some type of injury. Um, so be it shoulder, knee, lower back, so if, you have, if you've been lucky like me not to be injured, uh, knock on wood, but you keep doing these proper things and we should be able to be good for a long time. And it does take a little bit of work, but that's part of you know getting better. We want to be able to stretch. It's to help you get more yardage in your golf. Also, I'll do the pipe afterwards. I'll do the pass-throughs and do that. So I will give you some more information, but that's just some of the stuff I do stretching afterwards. Oh, oh yeah, I did forget one thing. This is a great stretch. Probably forgot because this one kicks my butt. Um, it's a stretch. It is a yoga one. It is very tough, but I do this after working out. And it helps with my lower back, my hamstring, and I'll show you here. I'm going to start with my right leg. I'm going to put it underneath. I'm going to lay down on the ground. And the idea is to have it underneath your hips. I'm going to have my back straight, and I'm going to take my left elbow and line it up with my right, up, right knee. I'm going to breathe. When I exhale, I'm going to get deeper into the position. Okay, you can see I do both legs, but you can hang out 25 seconds, 30 seconds on that. That you can feel right in here in your glutes, just stretching that out. Um, my lower back, um, it's just an excellent exercise, or stretch, I should say. So uh, that's one that you should add to the list too. Uh, the stretching could take a 10, 15 minutes afterwards. Take the time to do that. If you don't have time right around the golf, make sure you do it at night. Make time while you're in the house to do that. Hey, for more information, uh, visit BarnhillGolf.com to check out my latest blogs and vlogs, and look forward to seeing you soon. Have a good day.